Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to read and write on a Mercedes Sprinter Euro 4 2009. We're going to use the KESS software. Once that's opened up, we're going to go on the cars. From here, we're going to go into Mercedes and scroll down for Mercedes printer. This is W906 and it's a 311. So here you've got two options uh, we're gonna go for the 2008 one and click OK click OK we're gonna go on the can and select and first thing we're gonna do is ID click select and OK turn the ignition on Once the ignition is on, click OK. Turn the ignition off and click OK. Click OK, turn the ignition on and click OK and that's the ID done we're gonna click OK and it will get us to save the file we'll rename it as what we need it to be And same thing for the ID file. And that's the ECU code and we click save. Turn the ignition off and click OK. Now we're gonna go on the reading and click select click OK, turn the ignition on and click OK again. Turn the ignition off, click OK. Click OK, turn the ignition back on and OK. Click OK and that will confirm that the ID has been done and it, the connection is good. And now the software will start to read the ECU file for this vehicle. Click OK, turn the ignition off and click OK.
turn the ignition on and click OK. And now the software has fully started to read the file. Down here it shows you how much time it's going to take and usually towards the start it gives you a longer time but after about 10 to 20 seconds the time reduces and it will show you the accurate time that it needs. Once it's fully done reading, you can rename the file. And click save. Turn the ignition off. Click OK. And that's the reading of the ECU done. You can now click OK and it will end the procedure. On to our next step and that is writing a file we're going to click writing and select and in this call we're taking out the EGR so we'll click the EGR removed file and click open click OK turn the ignition on and click OK Turn the ignition off and click OK. Click OK. Turn the ignition on and click OK. Click OK. And click OK to proceed to write. And click OK because we know the file is correct. Turn the ignition off, click OK. Turn the ignition on and click OK. Click OK. And now it will start to write the ECU file onto the current ECU.
once the loading bar is completed turn the ignition off and click OK and it tells you that the writing process is done you can click OK now And now this car is ready, you can start it up and drive. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads. Thank you.